What's up you amazing hackers, I hope you're all doing well today. So you've learned your basic techniques, you want to get into the action, but how do you pick a target? Let's get right into it, shall we? Now, there are a couple of things that when I approach my targets, when I want to pick a new target, I usually divide it into a couple of categories and I rate it on each of those categories. Um, the first category I always look at is what type of scope do I have in front of me? Because of course you can have a very wide scope, star.target.com, uh, or you can have a very, na very narrow scope, but that usually means you have a big main application to play with. So that's going to heavily depend on what I pick. You know, uh, it has to be, for me, it has to be a very deep target. I don't like the star.domain star .domain targets because Basically, you spend so much time doing recon, and for me, it's not. I don't like all of that automation. I like to get hands on, and that brings me to my next point because your targets can be either functional or very non functional, very technical. Now, as a bug bounty hunter, this also depends on what type of vulnerability that you like, of course. Do you like your. Uh, more broken X control vulnerabilities, your more logic vulnerabilities, you know, all of the non-functional stuff. Or do you like, the, uh, I mean, functional, of course. Or are you more into your SSRFs, remote code executions? It's all possible and it all depends on which one you like, of course. Uh, the next one that I always look at is which type of target have I uh, do I have in front of me in types of demographic? Am I looking at a business to business program or is it more a business to consumer program? That's also very important for me because I really like business to business programs. Those usually allow you to get really up and close with all of the logic. They allow you to create your own accounts or they provide provisioned accounts, which we'll get into later as well. Um, and you also have your business to consumer uh, applications on the other end of the spectrum. Business to consumer applications allow you to explore a bit more, but usually they're a bit more closed about the stuff that they disclose, of course, because they don't want you to know much of the inner workings. Um, whichever type of whichever type of target you pick, it always depends on how deep you're willing to dig and how much work you're willing to put in. Of course, that's very important. But with the business to consumer applications, for me, it's usually a little bit more of um, how much of an investment am I willing to make to actually test this target? Because business to consumer applications, I'm going to give you guys an example as well. We have a very big shoe sales, uh, shoe sales uh, website here in Belgium. You can buy shoes on there. They are on Integrity as well. So if you guys want to hack them, uh, that's possible. Their name is Torfs. Uh, it's spelled T-O-R-F-S. So if you guys want to hack them, go to Integrity. I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, those guys are heavily business to consumer focused. So if you really want to get in deep on that application, what you'll have to do is actually register an account, buy some shoes, try to return them. So uh, for for all of that stuff, you know, that it's more of a like, do you, are you willing to pay a bit of a premium to get access to a lot more functionality? Uh, and probably other hackers are less willing to pay that premium to get to that functionality. So heavily dependent on that. Now I touched on the accounts that are being provided uh, a couple of times because for me having an account provided for me or being able to create my own account that has full access is super important. Um, I really like to test business to business applications. And of course they have to give you some kind of account there because usually that's not open to self-registration for the public unless it's like a trial version. So um, I usually like to go for targets that give you accounts because again, they are a little bit more open. That's also, uh, how shall I put this, a property of your targets like how open is my target with the information that it gives me? For some targets, they give you complete API specifications. Others will give you no documentation at all. 
and it really the, those are some of the like factors that you can see up front but of course there are a ton more and there will always be exceptions but those are some of the things that i like to judge my targets on up front when i see them on my scope page and when i look at them uh, at the target page on integrity for example or on hacker one or a buck route or yes we hack or Senec or any other platform that you can think of now um another thing that i judge my target on but i don't know this straight away i don't know this from the start of course i have to have some experience with hacking my target there but i really like to look at if my target is very secure very hardened or if it's like a little bit more basic um like if it's that's less secure i i don't want to use that word because security is very context dependent of course but for some targets they will allow some more stuff than other targets say for example they will have cross-site scripting out of scope where other targets will have it completely in scope um, so it really depends on how you want to take your target on as well and uh, another example I can give you guys, because this is a multi-layered aspect that, that I want to judge my targets on. Um, another thing, uh, like say for example, you want to hack Google versus your local bakery. Of course, Google is going to be a lot more hardened than your local bakery. So that's going to take some, uh, that's something I always take into account as well. And then of course, the last, point I try to judge my targets on is how advanced the technology is that they use. Say for example I want to hack Google, of course they are going to be super advanced. Uh, my bakery is going to be using a lot more basic PHP scripting or something like that. Something that the kids wrote down the street, you know, for a hundred bucks that's going to make a lot of difference on your target but of course you need some you have some foresight on this aspect you can look at your target and already look at it and say okay this is going to be a lot less secure say for example if you find identifiers in the url as a parameter but that identifier is like uh, id equals one that's less advanced to then if they have like identifier equals and then a UUID that's going to play a lot of effect for me as well I don't like the UUID identifiers because they make it a lot harder to get a proper IDOR and I love getting IDORs or broken access controls so I'll stay away from those if I can but um, something I also learned is things that you don't like maybe it's good to face up to them so that's where I'm going to leave it off for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate a like. Thank you guys so much for all of the support and the love you give me. It's freaking amazing. Uncle Red out. Peace.